Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you're having a good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this video. So by the time I upload this, it'll have been a few hours that have passed since, you know, Zelda's and Chandler's confirmation that they will be the next units to come out um, probably tomorrow sometime, right? Probably tomorrow. There's going to be a live stream. So um, be look, you know, look forward to that. But yeah, so Zelda's and Chandler, this is pretty interesting. But I wanted to go over their banner, right? So their banner is very, um, I would say it's very good. Not even for the reasons you might think. I did go, you know, briefly go over this in my last video, breaking down Zelda and Chandler. But this time I'm going to go over the full banner and what you guys need to know about it. So obviously, I don't know the details about how it's going to work completely. I do know it's going to be, you know, the 300, 600, 900 that we have for every single festival banner. Um, you get to choose between Zelda and Assault Mode Melee at the 900 mark. Now... Here's what's interesting. The rates of this banner are actually very good. I'm not going to lie. So, we have all of these units. By the way, this is the biggest roster of um, units on a festival banner ever. It might be the biggest roster on a banner besides the Denzo one that we've ever had. Um, I don't know. Someone can fact check me, but I'm pretty sure it is. I'm 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 almost like 95% sure. This is the biggest banner full of units like ever that we've had on grand cross um maybe besides the um the 10 commandments banner like the seven percent commandments and sins banner maybe besides that but there are 23 units right there are literally 23 units so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 23. So yes, 23 characters, but um, that's besides the point. So the rates, right? So 0.16% for all of these characters, right? All of these characters. So all 20 of these non-featured characters are going to be at a 0.16%, which is actually lower than the percentage on the, um, the banner we have on Global right now for merlin that's actually lower than the uh percentage that we have for the non um featured units for um merlin which is very very big i think this is the lowest percentage that has ever been featured on a festival banner which is really really good for these three units because of the fact that you have an even better chance a 0.25 percent chance at pulling these three characters so if you don't have a salt mode melee or you uh skipped him when he first came around on jp or something like that now's your time to get him chandler and zeldris at a rated up percentage now nothing will ever be king the 0.5 percent that king had was absolutely amazing that was really really good because of the fact that 0.5 percent chance to get him and um i believe it was just him and Hendrickson that were rated up 0.5%. So yeah, it was really good. And this is pretty like, this is pretty similar to that since this is a lower percentage. Now the units on the banner, I I'm going to say that this banner is very good, but I that's all I'm going to give it. Now I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to completely like, you know, oh my God, this banner is an absolute summon. You must summon for Zeldris. He's, he's broken beyond like anything in the game we've ever seen. No, um, he's very, very good. Him and Chandler are very, very good units. But I honestly think that depending on how they're played, we'll have to see like gameplay from them. I think we might, like, I think they might actually be like, kind of the most fun units in the game right the most fun units we'll see where zeldris falls in the ranking of um festival units once he's actually you know showcased what you are gear what his gimmicks are etc etc but um yeah i think they're pretty good i think they're really really good actually so yeah these units though um now obviously nanashi nanashi is he's good on the back on the fourth slot but otherwise he's not like crazy top tier liz is shit she's only really good for gray demon um blue arthur i believe that's blue arthur let me just make sure i'm getting that right i believe that is blue arthur though um no that's not okay so is that the green arthur yeah okay so this is green arthur all right 
Green Arthur, right? So you got Nanashi, Liz, and Green Arthur. Um, Green Arthur's he's really good. I I still think he might be number one. I think Ram is number two right behind him in terms of um, free-to-play characters. But Arthur is definitely number one. His passive skill is very good. So he's good for PvE content. He's very, very good. Um, Lodosio, he, okay, he has fallen off a little bit. Not completely. In terms of units that out-see, like, out-CC him, he's only not at number 18. And I know that's a pretty big dip from, like, where he was previously but keep in mind he did come out on jp a while back i want to say maybe like maybe going on like what nine months nine ten months for him so he had he came out a while back and on global it's been what four months so it's been a it's been a minute right i don't know if that's the right, right amount of months but it's been a minute since ludo dropped so keep in mind the way the meta is shifting and the way the you know the power of this you know the cc of newer characters are he's bound to fall off but being at number 18 is not bad frauderin frauderin is at 80 that's terrible he's no longer usable like he just he's no no but ludo's not too far off yet once he reaches 30 then it's like oh yeah now <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's still good. He's still a good unit to use in PvP because of the fact that bringing down defense-related stats is almost like one of the top things in PvP to do, right? Lowering their defense-related stats. So he's very good, very, very good. Still a top-tier unit that you want to pull. Um, the rest of the Ten Commandments, they are all the summonable versions, right? They're not the Elite Demon variants. They're literally just the Ten Commandments versions. Now, here's the thing, right, with, with this. Um, these units have been on Part 2 tickets for a long time. Like, Part 2 tickets, Race Draw tickets, they've been featured on so many banners before. The chances of you having these units, like, close to 6 out of 6 is actually really high. You might have, like, maybe 2 or 3 of these characters that you might not even have duped out, or you have them, like, 2 out of 6 or something, which you'll need dupes for. But like these units in all honesty like they're pretty much just coins like coins to get you know coin shop units which is good i like that they actually have been doing that they've been giving us like units that we probably already have six out of six and they've been giving us more chances to get coin shop units like if they're not featured on a, a banner such as this one for example right so let's say okay for me i have I believe I have Zeldra 6 out of 6. I have Fraudrin 6 out of 6. Derriere 6 out of 6. Esterosa 6 out of 6. So right then and there, four of these units that I, if I get them, like if I pull them on this banner, say if I summon, that's coins that I can use to get dupes for my coin shop commandment. So I like that they've been doing that. And it's, again, the chance of you having them high duped or duped out already is pretty, pretty big. So Galaxinia is 3 out of 6 for me. Draw is... Five out of six, I believe. Gallon, unfortunately, is I believe three out of six. Malaska is six out of six. Monspeed is six out of six. So, or five out of six. I, I don't know. And out of the top of my head, I can't remember, right? It's not like I use these characters on a daily, but yeah, the chances of you getting like getting coins for the coin shop from these characters is pretty high because you probably already have them duped out or you know high duped or whatever you want to call it, right? So yeah, I mean, does that bring down the value of the banner? I would say yes and no. Like, I would argue yes and no. Because people, some people don't have, you know, dupes of these characters. So it might be a valuable banner to them. While others do have them duped out. And it might end up being that, oh, wow, there's not much value. Because I already have these commandments duped out. All, every single one of them. And, you know, uh, the coin shop sins are featured on Merlins. And I summon and I got a majority of those there. So this banner might not be as valuable um, to, like, better and experienced and hardcore players than it will be to you know new slash returning players or people who just didn't get lucky summoning up i guess right on part two tickets however i will say that it is a coin like it's pretty much just a dupe coin banner then at that point and that's still pretty good in my personal opinion that's still pretty good for people who need dupes for uh coin shop units that in my personal opinion i think that's still um very very useful again 0.25% is very high for these characters. 0.16% is very low. So, I mean, 
you still have a pretty good chance at getting these characters because there are 20. Let's not forget, there's 20 of these units and there's only three rated up units. But, you know, it is, you know, has, it, there's a greater chance of you pooling, you know, maybe like one copy of Zeldris and Chandler than you will like maybe like five copies of Gloxinia, right? So that's pretty good. That's pretty good there. Um, The coin shop sins. At this point in the game, they're not usable, all right? I, I, I guess I wanted to say useful, but they can be useful, right? I just want to say that they're not as usable as they once were. Blue King and Red Gother, probably still the most useful and usable out of the, you know, out of the seven. But the rest, not as much, man. I just, I just, um, I can't sit here and say that you definitely need these units. Like, I really can't. Go through you might and King. The King's free. But it's like... I mean, technically, go through free too, but still. It, it's just... It's just like, you don't really need these units anymore as much as you might think. Escanor, yeah, for, you know, Hell Demon. He's still a pretty decent um, option for there if you don't have Derriere. But she's on the banner. <laughs> like, she's on the banner, so yeah I, I don't know like it's just to me the coin shop sins aren't really as like crazy as they once were like i don't care for them on being on this banner i just to be completely honest with you i don't care for <laughs> i don't really care for the the summonable versions of the commandments to be on here either but i do i do like that you know even though i don't care for them i do like that they put these coin shop sins on the banner for people who don't have high dupes in them or anything like even on merlin's banner right now i don't have you know all of these guys six out of six i have demon melly six out of six king and go through six out of six um Escanor is five out of six but like it's not like oh my god i i need to have them duped out completely i don't i don't care but i do like that they put them there if it were the summonable versions like you know various summonable versions of the sins i would have been like god damn it that would have been terrible. Like, the banner, then the value would just, like, plummet down. But having the sins, the you know, coin shop sins on here is not bad. Not not bad. It's not good. It's not, you know, it's just in between. Uh, you know, having the, all these commandment, summonable commandments on there is not good. Not bad in between. And then I think that the fact that the rates, the rates are really make the banner. They really make the banner, in my personal opinion. Having it at 0.25% to get Chandler and Zeldris and, and Assault Mode Meliodas is what really makes the banner in my opinion having them at 1.6 percent is very good very very good but um that's pretty much it i you know i just wanted to go over my thoughts and opinions on the banner the rates the units etc etc so this is going to be the banner this is going to be everything that you need to know about the banner um besides the fact that it's a 300 600 and 900 banner uh per usual like every festival banner um but yeah, man, that's going to be it for the video. If you guys made it this far, go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more Grand Cross content. And as always, I will see you all next time.